Where even am I in this video now? Okay. Um, I will only... <clears throat> <laughs> it's going well. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a good old-fashioned foundation review and the foundation we're going to be testing out is the Shiseido Revitalescence Skin Glow Foundation. This has SPF 30 in it, so a quick description of this. It is a serum-like foundation that weightlessly glides onto skin and transforms into a glowing makeup finish that lasts 12 hours. It's supposed to be ideal for all skin types, and you all know that I am more of a combination oily skin type. So originally I wasn't planning on trying this foundation because like a lot of the skin carry type foundations like tend to just be very like over skincare for me so that my face ends up being really really oily throughout the day however what's interesting about this is that it does say that it is a medium coverage foundation but it should last 12 hours so you know we are definitely going to put that to the test you guys know that long wear foundations is super important to me i will say that shiseido has a really good track record in terms of their base products their synchro skin self-refreshing foundation is still one of my absolute holy grail foundations like i love that one cannot exist without it it looks so beautiful throughout the day even when i'm doing like manual labor and like working out and all that other stuff so i have pretty high hopes for this one Let's go ahead and try this out. Here's the packaging. I actually really like this. This is different than the Synchro Skin Tint one or even the self-refreshing foundation because that one comes with more of like a, a black um, component. And so this is nice that it's white here. I like that there's this little place for you to open it. That's pretty great. This reminds me a lot more of Shiseido's like skincare packaging. Like that's what this feels like to me. It sounds very liquidy in there. I'm like shaking it right now and I can hear it moving around. Um, okay, I have shade. 350 maple oh yeah that's exactly what i would expect a serum like foundation to be like it's very liquidy yep there it goes this actually looks like it might be a pretty good shade match for me which is always exciting for serum like foundations i tend to not use beauty blenders or sponges mostly just because i feel like it soaks up the product too much so i am gonna only do this review with a brush but let's go ahead and apply this yeah i do not currently have any moisturizer on right now I literally just have the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. I chose that one also just because, like, again, my skin tends to be on more on the oily side. So I wanted to go in with a matte primer to just kind of preemptively combat some of that incoming oiliness that I know probably is going to happen with a serum foundation. So let's go ahead and do this. Mmm. Slightly fragranced. It has, like, a very clean scent to it, though. I'm not bothered by it. Definitely medium coverage. This to me feels very like skin tinty rather than being like a true foundation, but I'm not mad about it. Okay, we're gonna give this just a minute-ish to kind of set down and then I wanna see how that coverage looks. So I always like to give my foundations a minute to dry down before I like come in and tell you how I feel about the coverage mostly just because I do think with a lot of these skin tints the coverage shifts as like as you're waiting for it to dry down onto your face and like kind of smooth out and so you can actually see here when I first smoothed on the foundation I was like there's like zero coverage however it's actually looking really good right now I actually feel like it did cover some of my redness like decently well the camera is picking up the redness like crazy but in real life like if I'm just looking at this from you know like a normal human perspective my skin actually doesn't look too red it actually looks very very hydrated it looks nice it's very very smooth I do want to add just a little bit more like right here just to see if I can kind of increase the coverage a tiny bit I don't believe that it says anything about this being something that you can build on but yeah what the hell we're here right so let's do this okay I'm just gonna take a little bit more and you guys know my technique here is instead of smoothing it onto my face I'm going to go ahead and just kind of stipple it on it to my face instead so I'm not like moving the product around and pushing it into my skin which is a little bit different and that looks really nice you know what this is man my skin looks incredibly glowy incredibly like smooth and healthy like some 
it's pretty impressive. So I definitely still see my pores here. Like this is still pretty obvious. However, the rest of my face looks very, very, very smooth, which I like. We're changing the exposure here so you guys can really see like the texture on my skin. Again, right, as I move my face around, this gives me just a very lifelike, very beautiful glow, exactly like I drink water every day. The forehead looks probably the most impressive to me. I'm also curious to see like at the end of the day when I remove the foundation, and I remove all of my makeup. I wonder if my skin will feel like just amazing because um, this is supposed to have Fermented kefir and niacinamide in it. So yeah, it's supposed to pack the same level effective skincare ingredients as a Shiseido serum So hot damn. All right, I will put on the rest of my face We'll see how everything layers on top of that and we will be right back. Okay, everybody makeup is totally on Let's take a look really quick here. So one thing that I am noticing is obviously like my pores here are still like kind of on fire. Like they're just like, hello. <laughs> Other than that, I really like how the rest of my face feels. Everything feels like really hydrated and plump. It's a little bit alarming because I'm really curious if this is actually gonna wear well for 12 hours because 12 hours is a long claim for serum foundation, just saying. The concealer laid really beautifully on top. I do have some powders on my face as well. You guys know, like I have to powder down a foundation. It doesn't matter if it's like a L'Oreal Pro Matte that sucks the living daylights out of your skin or if it's like any of my other skin tints, I always use a powder. So what I do have on top is I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh for my under eye powder and then I use the Huda Beauty um, Sugar Cookie Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder uh, all over my face. I just have a really light layer on it. And then I also did set my makeup down with Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So these are all products that assist with the long wear, like keeping your makeup on your face. And so want to be totally honest about the fact that I do have those additional things on my face to try and make sure that the foundation doesn't move away. I'm perfectly comfortable testing foundations this way, mostly just because this is how I do my makeup on a daily basis. So all of this is pretty standard for me. But uh, I'm excited to see how this works for the rest of the day and uh, we shall see. I will see you guys in a couple hours for check-ins throughout the day. And then don't forget, I always come back at the end of the week with my final thoughts on the foundation. So stay tuned. Hello, first check-in. It is now 2.30ish, which means that I have now had on this foundation for about four and a half hours. It's actually looking really good. I just looked in the mirror and everything actually looks just so smooth, so well kept together. Honestly, I feel like with a lot of the foundations and skin tints that I've been trying these days, particularly those that are like skincare infused, I feel like the four hour mark is like that golden period where everything is still looking really, really good. I feel like the four hour mark is typically where like the foundation has really adhered nicely to your skin. It's like nicely melted in. It's not really falling apart yet and so I'm pretty impressed with where this is right now here are a couple of close-ups for you guys to see avoid the fact that like obviously it's coming off of my nose because I've already like blown my nose a lot I've been doing a lot of yard work so obviously my allergies are going haywire because guess who forgot to take Claritin but other than that yeah everything is looking pretty good I'm actually pretty impressed everything looks great on my forehead shockingly also everything looks pretty matte so it doesn't feel like it's like super dewy. So the Maybelline, for example, right at the four hour mark, I was like, ooh, it's starting to look really dewy. I do not feel that way with this one. I actually feel like it just looks really, really nice. So yeah, so uh, we'll see how it looks at the eight hour mark and how it continues to wear. But so far for like a 12 hour foundation, like, all right, all right, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Okay, second check-in. We are now a little bit less than eight hours into wearing this foundation and it has really held up beautifully. The only thing that I would say is like, it's cold today. I haven't been as like strenuously doing things as much as like I normally am. Like for example, my normal weekday is like I work, 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 and then I work out and then I cook. And so like, there's just a lot going on. Minus all the work that I did going into the first check-in, like, this has been a relatively chill four hours. It's still wearing really nicely. Like you can see that everything is still holding up. You can see that my pores are really starting to come through here. The foundation has worn off mostly just because I keep blowing my nose. Forehead looks absolutely beautiful. Like I will definitely say for the most part, this is holding up quite well. The other thing I was gonna say too is that my skin feels really good. Like it feels very hydrated even though I don't have a moisturizer underneath. All right, we are headed to a friend's house for dinner tonight. So um, I will be back at the end of the night to let you guys know how the foundation looks. And at that point, we should be very much at the 12 hour mark. So yes, see you guys in a bit. 
Okay, hello. It is our final check-in of the day. We are officially at our 12-hour mark. And uh, there are a couple of things to note about this foundation. So let's start with the not-so-great. This is not a 12-hour wear foundation. Like, I don't think that it is. This has not been a stressful day for me, and this foundation has definitely started to wear down between the 8-hour and 12-hour mark. Like, there's a big difference between how it looked literally four hours ago compared to how it looks now. The number one thing that I'm noticing here is this foundation is definitely not transfer resistant. So at some point, I did kind of touch my face. The foundation definitely did come off. You can see it missing from right here. Other than that, on all of the areas of my face where I did not touch my face, everything looks pretty smooth it looks like it wears like really beautifully like it fades really nicely it fades pretty evenly but man if you are a face toucher like I do not think that this is a foundation that will you know really be able to hold up what I will say about this foundation though that I'm noticing is that my skin feels wonderful like it feels totally hydrated it does not feel like I have any tight spots. I feel like everything just looks very, very glowy, very hydrated again. And so from that perspective, like, is it a skincare foundation? Oh, a thousand percent. But is this something where I'm like, yeah, it lasts 12 hours? Like, hell no. We'll see kind of how I feel about this at the end of the week. It's nice for what it is, but it's definitely not a 12 hour foundation the way that they market it. So that's very interesting. All right. I'll see you guys at the end of the week. Hey everyone, welcome back. It is now the end of the week, so let's go ahead and talk about my final thoughts on the Shiseido Rite Revi- Damn it. <laughs> Revitalescence Skin Glow Foundation. Apparently did not manage to learn how to say the name of this foundation this entire week. I'm really glad I got an opportunity to try this for the whole week because I do have a couple of updates to my first impressions part that I think are pretty relevant to everybody who's like watching this review. The first thing that I want to say is that this is very, very true to color. So when you are color matching online, you don't need to worry about this foundation potentially oxidizing. Like that is just not a concern at all. Definitely stays true to color, which is fantastic. The second thing about this foundation is I have figured out how to make it work for us oily, oily girls. Interestingly enough, in my first impressions, I did not have a layer of moisturizer underneath. I literally just had the Fenty Beauty Matte Primer underneath, and I think that that was a mistake. So when you think about like the skincare process, right, usually everybody knows, like your nighttime skincare, right? Everybody knows that you should do your serum and then you put your moisturizer on top of the serum. After the serum has like, you know, kind of sunk into your face. For this, to maintain the longevity of the foundation, you basically like flip that. So what I ended up doing was I would wear my moisturizer and then a primer on top and then this foundation, and that's when I could actually increase the wear time of this foundation to about 10 hours, which is like, acceptable. The reason I think this works is because I think that like the moisturizer kind of acts like a barrier so that the serum just doesn't get to that oily point on your face and so it just kind of it's a weird way of thinking about it like but it worked for me this week. Obviously I also used this with like a really good mattifying setting powder. I used a really good setting spray and that's how I managed to get it to the 10 hour mark. Let me say really quick that I am not super enthused about the fact that they call this a 12 hour foundation. My only caveat with that is that that I am a lot more on the oily side. Like I could definitely imagine like if you have dry skin that this might actually get to the 12 hour mark. It's just that for me, I could never get it to that point. Typically around like the 10 to 11 hour mark is when you could start seeing things just start to fade. It does fade beautifully. There's no patching. There's no like chunkiness that comes off of your face, but you can just feel it, right? Like when you touch your face, you can feel the foundation come off. It's just not, again, right? It's not long wear. It's not 12 hour worthy. So from a marketing perspective, I'm a little bit bummed about that, but eh. Would I repurchase this foundation? Honestly, like I think maybe in like 10 years when my skin is a little bit more on the dry side, I think this would be a foundation that would be very applicable to me. Right now it is just, it's not exactly what I need and so it's one of those things where like I'm gonna finish this and then we'll just tuck it into the corner of our brain to repurchase in about like 10 years. So if you are someone that is in between the ages of like, I would say maybe like 36 and on, like this might be a really great foundation for you. If you are typically way, way, way more dry, this would also be a really great foundation for you. But for those of us that are more on the combo to oily or oily side of it, I probably would give this one a hard pass just because I think 
If you're looking for something that's going to be more long wear, this is just not it. I would instead recommend checking out the Shiseido Self Synchro Skin Foundation because that one is actually super, super good. I will leave actually a link for that foundation review in the description box below if you're interested. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found this review helpful. If you liked it, please feel free to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us over on Instagram, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.